And I'm here with Chris at T-Mobile for Business. Chris, how are you? I'm great, sir, how are you doing? Great, you have the funnest, most exciting, interesting section here at the T-Mobile for yes, Business sir. booth. Obviously drones, what are we looking at? What are the scenarios that you're working with right now? All right, so I'm a senior disaster recovery manager with T-Mobile and I also manage our UAS program. What you see behind us is one of our tethered systems. It's basically a flying cell site. Mm. Uh, it can fly 24 seven up to an uh, altitude of 400 feet AGL and uh, has the same mission profile as our SAT Colts and trucks and our other deployables that we have to deploy within the network. So, Fantastic, so this is a movable, uh, adaptable flying uh, network node. What kind of scenarios, uh, uh, anecdotes are you using right. this for out in the field? Right, so it's a, it's a more portable system than mm -hmm. our trucks. So uh, for a good example, uh, if we had an island site, um, like on Calabria Vieque, somewhere near Puerto Rico, or, mm. or around Hawaii, what have you, we can more quickly deploy these because I can put the, these in a, in a boat or an UTV and get it to a harder to reach area. Uh, for an area that maybe it would take more time to get a bigger truck in, hmm. and so that just allows us to do a, a quicker deployment, get our network back up faster than anyone else. Well, we need that given all the you know storms and incidents and hurricanes and yes. other uh, wildfires and other issues that are affecting us. Um, how scalable is this? I mean, how quickly can you get this into service? And um, can you really uh, manage the network for days, weeks uh, with yes. this kind of platform? Yes. So, this can fly 24-7, like mm, I said, wow. and, and uh, the record, I believe, is a couple of weeks for how long we've had one of these wow. flying. Um, and just like any other network asset, we're there until it, the network is re restored completely, 100%. So uh, that's what we do, and uh, we're just going to bring critical communications and when and where it's needed the most. Um, and it's scalable, uh, we have these deployed all over the country, ready to go at a moment's notice. No kidding. And um, the same with our vehicles and generators and other assets that we have to bring our network back up. So important, and this is only one scenario, moving beyond the network to the uh, edge device for enterprises and first responders, you know, and police, firefighters, et cetera. Right. You have other solutions, services, drones even. Yes. Uh, describe what, we're, what we're, we're using there. Yes, so, uh, you know, as you know, we, we're, we do a T priority with network slicing and we have that, yeah. um, that bandwidth and capability that's scalable to, uh, to the needs of our public safety partners mm. and our customers that uh, are, are working with that. So it's a, just a great uh, ex, you know, opportunity for us to bring the best network forward to, to our customers who we love. So, so I'm a bit of a drone enthusiast, yes. so I'm looking at your you know, amazing devices and drones here as toys. Of course they're not, but you must have a lot of fun out in the field building and developing, deploying these solutions yes, too. Yes, yes, I'm on call 24-7, okay. so yes, but we do have a lot of fun. And this is not even our biggest drone. We have some that are even bigger than this, and we wow. have some advanced technologies that we're working on now that um, it'll be coming out soon, and you guys will get to see that. And so. of course, you're really focused on securities uh, and safety. Yes. And operating these safely, um, you must have things like encryption and other yes, technologies absolutely. deployed to make these as safe as possible. Yes. Yes, that's well, correct. Congratulations, it's an amazing uh, platform you've built and onwards and upwards, literally. Yes, sir. We're rooting for you. Yeah, thank you very much.